Hey Galaxy fans, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got seven Samsung Galaxy features, some are classic favorites that longtime users might remember, and others are new or hidden gems you might not have seen before. So I just want to take a moment to say a huge thank you to everyone who watched my last video and helped me reach a goal of 250 likes. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Now let's push that for 300 likes on this one, because the more likes and engagement we get, the more YouTube spreads this video to other Galaxy fans out there. So before we dive in, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe and drop a comment telling me which of these features you're using or can't wait to try out. So the first feature is where you can clip images from video. So with your Samsung Gallery app, you can now grab an image directly from a video. So no screenshot or pausing in the perfect frame needed. So you just open your video, pause the frame, tap on the clip image option and save it as a photo. So here is an example, we can go ahead and clip the subject from this photo. However, you can do the same thing on a video as well. So if I go ahead and scroll down and find a video, so for example, this one here, or let's just say this one here, I can go ahead and pause this. And let's say I wanna go ahead and clip this subject. So I'll go ahead and long press on this. Now this will let me clip this image. So now I can go ahead and save this as a sticker or save it as an image. So when I go ahead and save this as an image, this is the image I get from that video. So this is perfect for capturing the one moment in your clips. So whether it's a funny face, a scenic shot, or a memorable smile, it's faster, clearer, and gives you high quality stills straight from your videos. The second feature is where you can change a photo album cover. So you can customize your photo album covers in Samsung Gallery to show any image you like. Not just the latest photo, you can long press the album, tap change cover, and choose your favorite image. So let me show you how to do this. So first, you wanna go ahead and open up Gallery. Now you wanna go ahead and tap on Albums. Next, you wanna go ahead and find the album you wanna change cover on. So let's say the download folder. So go ahead and long press on this, tap on more, and then tap on change cover image. Now go ahead and tap on select an image, and now go ahead and find an image you wanna change that album for. So let's go ahead and change this for this, tap on apply, and now the album cover has been changed for that. So this gives your gallery a personalized, organized, and aesthetic look, perfect for those who love customizing their phone's appearance, so now your gallery can match your vibe. The third feature is where you can launch the Quick Launcher. So the Quick Launcher lets you open your favorite apps or action instantly using side gesture or shortcuts. So it's designed for speed, swipe and tap, and boom, you're there. So here I'll go ahead and swipe from the right hand side. And this is my Quick Launcher, where I can see all the apps which I access the most. So you can go ahead and configure this as well by tapping on settings. You can go ahead and add and delete items, create folders, and also add actions to this quick launcher. So let me show you how you can enable this quick launcher on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, you need to first go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find One Hand Operation Plus. Switch this on, and now I'll go ahead and use the right handle. Now here, I wanna go ahead and find straight left. You can go ahead and configure these as well, but I'll just go ahead and do the straight left. Now you'll go ahead and scroll down and find the quick launcher. So this is a quick launcher here. Tap on this. You can go ahead and configure the settings as well. So you can go ahead and open apps without tapping. You can show the recent on the first page and you can go ahead and configure how many columns on that quick launcher. So once that's done, press home and now go ahead and try it out. So the quick launcher opens up. And now from here, you can go ahead and open up any apps you like. So you can be in the middle of a game or in the middle of a video, and you can go ahead and open up the quick launcher to open an app. So this is a massive time saver for multitaskers. So whether you're jumping between apps, taking screenshots or accessing tools, quick launcher helps you move through your phone faster and more smoother. The fourth feature is where you can select text in a swipe. So inside Keys Cafe, there's a cool gesture that lets you select all text just by swiping across the keyboard. So no need to hold or drag manually, one smooth swipe and everything is highlighted. So let me show you how to do this. So first open up Keys Cafe. Next, go ahead and tap on keyboard, then tap on gesture here. And now here you wanna find use two finger gesture, switch this on. Now I already have up set as copy, down set for paste. And now for the left, you can go ahead and set this for select all. Now once that's done, press home. Now let's open up message, open message here. And let's just say, I want to copy, select all this. So in order to do this, we'll go ahead and open up the keyboard, go ahead and use your two fingers and swipe left. 
and there you go. So it's copied. Now I can go ahead and use my two fingers, swipe up, that's copied. I can go ahead and now paste it by swiping down. And like this, I can go ahead and repeat this. So this is select all, copy, and paste. So this is perfect for anyone who types or edit text often. It's faster, cleaner, and super satisfying, especially when you need to copy, cut, or replace large chunks of text in seconds. The fifth feature is where you can have a calendar countdown to your events. So Samsung Calendar lets you set countdowns for your upcoming events, birthday, holidays, trips, or special reminders. So you can even see the days left right in your widget or the event list. So let's go ahead and open up Calendar. And here I'll go ahead and set something for, let's say, November 26th. So I'll say, this is my dog's birthday. Go ahead and set this. So now if I go ahead and tap on this, this will tell me how many days there is left, the 27 days left. Then tapping on more at the bottom right will let me add a countdown widget for that event. So I'll tap on add countdown widget. I want to go ahead and add this, so tap on add. And now that countdown widget has been added to my home screen. So as you can see, this is a dog birth date for 26 November, and I've got 27 days left. So this keeps you motivated and organized. It reminds you how close your next big moment is. So this is great for productivity lovers or anyone who wants that little extra excitement leading up to important days. The sixth feature is where you can show or hide navigation bar. So with a quick toggle in settings, you can hide or show your navigation bar anytime. So this way you can switch between gesture navigation or button navigation depending on your style. But we can do this one more better. We can go ahead and swipe to show or hide this navigation bar. So let me show you how to do this. So first you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, scroll down and find One Hand Operation Plus. Go ahead and turn this feature on. And here we'll go ahead and use the right handle. So tap on this and we'll go ahead and use the straight left swipe. So here we'll go ahead and scroll down and find show and hide navigation bar. So there you go, show, hide, navigation bar. So now I've set that, press home. Now when I go ahead and swipe from the edge of the screen to the left, you'll see that the navigation bar has been hidden. This basically turns it into a gesture control. If I go and swipe again, this will show up the navigation bar. So this gives you more screen space when you want immersive experience. So this is great for gaming, watching videos or reading. And when you need the button back, just swipe and they're back again. And lastly, the seventh feature is where you can get a trail on your keyboard if you're using swipe typing. So if you enable the keyboard trail in Samsung keyboard settings, you can see smooth lines following your finger as you type like this. However, you can go ahead and customize this trail even more by adding different emojis or shapes which will follow your finger. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the Keys Cafe module. Now next, tap on Keyboard, and here, tap on Gesture. Now next, you wanna go ahead and tap on Use Design for All Gestures, or turn this feature on, then tap on Gesture Design, and here, go ahead and choose what you like. So there's Heart, there's Stars, Fire, Skulls, and many design to choose from. Let's go ahead and choose some footsteps. You can go ahead and choose the colors as well. Choose the size and the speed. Once that's done, press save. Go ahead and give this a name. And now your gesture has been applied. So now if I go ahead and try it out, you'll see those trail marks on your keyboard. So it makes your typing more visual, accurate, and fun. Plus it helps you see your swipe patterns, improving your speed over time. It's a small feature, but adds a nice touch of personality to your typing experience. And there you have it, seven Samsung Galaxy features that make your phone smarter, faster, and more fun to use. Some of these might be classic features you've seen before, and some might be new tricks you just discovered, but together they show just how powerful Samsung's software can be. Once again, huge thank you to everyone who helped the last video hit 250 likes. Let's see if you can smash through 300 likes on this one. Remember, the more likes, the more engagement, and the more YouTube spreads this video to other Galaxy users like you. So go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment down below which of these features was your favorite, or if you discovered something new today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.